Kuba is a focus and context visualization framework for diagnosing faults in wireless mesh networks. Scuba is developed at UC Santa Barbara. Scuba divides metrics into three contexts, the route, link, and client context. As a user focuses closer in a particular region of Scuba, the detail in that region increases. Since Scuba is a diagnosis framework, the size and color schemes we use in the visualization highlight problems in a mesh network. So for instance, in this figure, we see routes as curved solid lines and links as straight dashed lines. The thickness of the routes are directly proportional to the round trip time values. That means higher the round trip time, the thicker the line. The saturation brightness levels of the lines are inversely proportional to the throughput of the route. That means low throughput routes appear bright and red while higher throughput routes are de-emphasized with a gray color. The links in scuba appear as dashed lines and to maintain our policy of highlighting problems in the visualization, the length of the white spaces between dashes are directly proportional to the ETX value of the link. That means higher the ETX value, longer are the white spaces, the more broken the links appear. These visualization features ensure that the operator's attention is drawn to poor quality broken links or poor route that result in problems within the mesh network. The clients in the client context appear as sectors of a circle. The radius of each sector of a client is proportional to the signal strength of the frames received from the clients and the angle subtended by the sector at the router is proportional to the channel utilization per client. As you mouse over each of the sectors, the client's MAC address, the channel utilization per client, as well as the signal strength of the client is shown in as a tooltip. The radius of this complete circle around each router shows the external interference that the router is experiencing, which is computed as the number of radios that are interfering with the communication of each router. If all these visualization features of Scuba are shown simultaneously for the 500 node Google Wi-Fi mesh network deployed in Mountain View, California, the screen appears very messy. To reduce the mess, we only show the route context by default. Here we also show a small inset overview in the top right hand side corner, which helps operators figure out where they are in the network while they focus in to the lower context. If a network operator finds problems in the route context, they focus into the link context. Here we see that the links also appear along with the routes. If the operator notices problems in the link context, he zooms in further to reveal the client context. While this 2D planar view of Scuba maintains the geographical locations of routers and gateways in the network, if a user is focused in to a certain location of the mesh network, he loses track of what is happening in other parts of the network. To solve this problem, Scuba has another view called the hyperbolic view. The hyperbolic view is a projection of the 2D planar view on a hyperbolic surface. The point of interest is placed on the focal center of the hyperbola, while the rest of the points are placed towards the edge of the hyperbolic surface oriented from the focal point. All the three scuba's contexts are shown for the point which is at the focal center of the hyperbola, while the number of contexts progressively decreases as the points reach closer to the edge of the hyperbola. Zooming in and out in the hyperbolic view changes the height of the hyperbola. So if you increase the height, you see that the point at the focal center appears larger while majority of the points are distributed closer to the edge of the hyperbola. Now while the hyperbolic view distorts the geographical location of the routers and gateways in the mesh network, it allows the network operator to view problems which occur in the rest of the mesh network while he or she is focusing on one part of the network. Now we use Scuba to diagnose a specific problem in the UCSB MeshNet. The UCSB MeshNet consists of 14 routers and one gateway, as shown in this figure here. In this view we see that one route in the network is particularly bad. This route appears thick and bright red in color. The route, you see that the throughput of the route has decreased significantly and the round trip time has increased significantly. Now to diagnose the problem of the route, the operator can zoom in to the link context in the link context here, the links between the routers 3165, 2158 and 2152GW appear to have a high ETX value. To understand the problem further, the operator can zoom in to the client context. The client context shows that one client attached to router 3165 is occupying a large portion of the channel. It means that the client is either misbehaving, is misconfigured and is causing problems in the network, which is why the route quality was bad. This was one example of diagnosing a fault in a real wireless mesh network. Scuba's focus and context visualization framework can thus be used 
to diagnose many more faults in a large-scale wireless mesh network.